Hello and welcome to this little tutorial on how to mod the Gungeon um, with the newest ETG mod reloaded. Um, keep in mind this is still a work in progress. Uh, we are working pretty hard on it uh, to make it work. Um, but if you want to snoop around and maybe even contribute, uh, this might be a little helpful. So first of all, um, what you need to do is you need to like create the ETG mod um, yourself. There is no pre-built zip file, although I have one right here. But you, you really should um, do this yourself. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna clone or download the zip of this repository on the master branch. This is important because the master branch uh, contains the uh, ETG mod reloaded, um, which basically uh, means that the mods are Lua files and those get loaded when the game starts or when you reload. So you don't have to recompile your mods, you just reload them um, on button press and yeah it, it makes modding a lot easier um, it also got like the textures fixed already we, we didn't have to do anything on that well as ever didn't um, so yeah you're, you're gonna clone it um, I did that already let me just navigate <coughs> there we go. This is the uh, master branch. Um, what you're gonna find is um, a project, uh, like um, a solution, which you're gonna open in uh, Visual Studio. Um, you can also go right away and try the build path, but um, if this doesn't work for you, then you probably need to adjust it a little. And in that case, you just open the solution, um, build it, and once it's built, you want to edit the build path. And probably around here, there should be, like under a build base and before the tokens, there should be um, a block with MS build, which you're going to delete because you already built them up. Um, after that you save and execute it and then it's gonna create the needed files inside the build folder oops um, for that uh, you need uh, 7 zip in the uh, build in the path um, yeah, so w once you have that done, um, you're going to have those contents. Um, there's a new thing called metadata, um, which basically contains information about uh, the base. <coughs> well, about the component, that's the proper term. And um, yeah, it basically tells the installer on what to do with this file like um, it installs two files into the manage folder and it uh, patches those two targets. If you were to write your own um, ETG mod, you would obviously uh, change this a little so it fits your needs. I'm not gonna get into how to do it. <coughs> so after that, um, you basically need the installer and this is a tricky one um, because you're not going to use the current installer uh, you're going to use the new one um, the installer.hatless um, and you're going to clone that as well, build it and you get this and this you can run uh, you can copy it into the into the Gungeon directory like I did. Uh, you only need the uh, 
PLL files, maybe monomod, um, the MTG installer exe and the uh, yaml.net. <coughs> um, and once you copied them, um, it's going to get a little bit more complicated uh, because you then need to create some additional files. Um, for example, you're going to need um, no, not this one. Uh, you're going to need a web server. Let me just show you. Like XAMPP and have those two files in it. Um, I'm probably going to put them into the description <coughs> uh, so you can, you know, put them there. Um, you also need to make some slight adjustments to the installer. Um, for that, you go into MTG installer, go into the downloader, uh, and look for the base domain and change that to 127.0.0.1. Um, and yeah, um, then you're done, then you rebuild it, copy it into the, into the Gungeon directory, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, then afterwards, you're going to need those files. Um, what you also need is, um, after after like running this once, you're going to create a new, uh, a new folder in, I think, data local. Could be wrong. Yeah, I've memorized this, so bear with me for a second. In roaming, uh, mod the Gungeon, and there is a file called custom component. Components. If it doesn't exist for you, just create it. Mine is empty because I don't have any. <coughs> um, you also got a settings file. Um, basically, you link a file, uh, a YML file in here. Um, which contains a uh, so-called custom component. Mine is in the etg mod uh, dot mod yml. Um, you can have this to anything you want. So basically, mine is in here. This is the mod dot yml, and basically tells um uh basically tells my the the installer uh but um, the current base is that this path has a name, uh, it, ha it has versions and stuff, like proper versioning. Um, and then you ha also have this name. Um, this name you'll need uh, for installing the mod. So once you have this created, I'm gonna leave it open for a little, or you can just pause the video, I guess. Once you have this created, and the, uh, you know, so many things open, uh, I have modified the settings of this one. Uh, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be time to um, actually install, install the EDG mod. Um, So what I what I did is um, I copied the etg mod zip into this directory, changed the um, mod.yml, so it features the etg mod zip, um, and then what you got to do is going to open a cmd or a powershell, and you just Uh, so yeah, um, after that you have, you can install it with MTD installer. I'm just gonna show the help. Um, what you basically want to do is um, you want you also want it to force HTTP uh, because your web server is gonna be running on uh, HTTP, uh, HTTP um, unless you want to uh, have a certificate or something. 
Um, if you want to host a web server with those files, you're free to do so. Um, they're just not going to be official. It, you, you're just basically just doing this because the official server is down at the moment, uh, because Zavis is hosting it on his own PC, I guess. And um, yeah, therefore you need to do it yourself. <coughs> uh, so yeah, you go into settings, and you see um, force insecure HTTP is set to yes. So how do we set this? Well, you basically call settings and set minus h to true, and basically, and basically say force insecure HTTP yes, because you don't want to install over HTTPS or over HTTP, and then you can just install um, with this command. This name is the uh, is the one you chose in the um, mod.yml. <coughs> um, since this is very flexible, you can give it any name you want. Um, I named the uh, ATG mod local. And after that, you press enter, and it should install like without any issues. I'm gonna try it here. Oh yeah, um, forgot to start the web server. Here we have the XAMPP panel now. There we go. Just going to start the Apache web server. Press install. It's backing up my files. Then installing. There we go. Um, so yeah, after that your game is modded um, and you can basically just run it. This is this will be still dodge roll, but everything worked correctly. You have successfully installed mod the Gungeon 0.3. Uh, the text on the bottom is a little cut off. Once you go into the game, uh, you have your base like basic console again with F2, and you notice there won't be any uh, text in here. But if you go to help. Uh, yeah, it doesn't exist yet, but we can execute Lua, uh, we have some debug commands, for example, uh, to provide the Lua functionality, I'm going to show you, return 200 plus 10 plus 3, and it's returning 230. Um, I also have a mod installed. Um, And you see here, with F5, uh, you can reload your mods. You can list. Oops. List mods. And here you see the listed mods. So yeah, uh, basically the test mod I have installed um, unlocks every chest without consuming keys. Uh, so. I, f I hope this helped you. If you got any questions, post them in the modding. Uh, don't be afraid to ping me or anything. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to update this. If you want to help uh, and contribute, uh, make sure to make a fork and probably do pull requests. Um, and yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, 
essential mod functionality. Um, maybe I'll show how to create mods at some point, but at the moment it's really, uh, it's not really easy. Like, you got a lot of stuff to take care of. Uh, maybe I'll make a future tutorial on that, on that one. Oh, but I'm gonna put the base mods. Nah. Maybe I will, I'll, I'll put it in the description. We'll see. <coughs> so yeah, that's that. And um, I hope you uh, get a better grasp on how to install this stuff now. See you later.